It is a Canadian favorite, a show that features some of the very best Canadian figure skating talent. Stars on Ice tickets go on sale today. Woo, look at that. The show will bring incredible axles, spins, flips. I, I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. To audiences right across the country. One of the stars, of course, will be Elvis Stoiko, a two-time sil Olympic silver medalist who has also made competition history with moves like that. And he joins us in studio this morning. Great to have you here. Good morning. Hey, we were just having a chat about the most mispronounced names. What kind of pronunciations <laughs> have you had for Stoico? I'm curious. I, oh, I've had everything. My very first international, I was like 14, 15 years old in Germany. And I didn't even recognize my, recognize my name up on the list for the draw of where he skated. It was Alvin Steike. Oh. <laughs> Alvin, it was, so first and last name wrong. First and last name completely wrong. I didn't even recognize it. Embarrassed to go up there and tell the referee my name is an Alvin Stikey and yeah <laughs> but they remembered when you started winning they got yes, your name so right they, after yeah that. yeah yeah household <laughs> name so the tour kicks off in yep. Halifax uh, April 25th what is new and exciting what's really cool um Kurt has uh, retired, yeah. but he's part of the tour. He's going to be directing and putting the show together, and this is going to be very exciting. So I'm, he's already asked me about you know collaboration and ideas for next year, which is is really it's awesome. We we had such a great time last year on tour, and uh, we did a number together. It was sort of a, a send off for him, and yeah. we had a wonderful time. So I'm really looking forward to doing some work with him on sort of the, the sort of ideas of direction and things like that. Do you know what, like you and Kurt and other skaters from that era are so beloved. I think it's nice for fans like myself to know that you actually get along off the ice as well. Oh, we do. I mean, Kurt and I had such an incredible um, competition rivalry together, mm -hmm. but it, we, it, I wouldn't be the skater I am today if it wasn't for him and vice versa. I learned so much from him. And you just, you have that respect for your competitors because you're only as good as your competition. Yeah, now we know that Kurt is making a lot of commercials, but you off the ice are doing some other really cool things as well. Yeah. Uh, you like to race cars, ride dirt bikes, uh, act in TV shows. Yeah. How are you juggling all of this? It just balance. Right now I'm focused on the racing. Uh, that was the big thing. I was racing in uh, Spa in Belgium last month um, with a team um, really racing here in Canada. Okay. And uh, yeah, I, I was testing prototype cars, did really well cool. in it got invited out. Uh, the Revolution, the car that I was driving, uh, they were impressed how quickly I adapted. And they said, we want you to race in Spa. And I'm like, Spa, that's like an F1 track. They're like, yeah. So I got a chance to go over and race, did really well, placed third in both races, got fastest lap. And now I'm building sponsorship for it for next year. And then uh, that's where I want to go, race professionally one day. That's too professional, like, <laughs> career to do a speed. How do you go? I mean, I get the competition factor is the same, but, like, did you always want to race? Is this that, you know, you skated, but you really wanted to race? Well, that's basically it. I, it's not like I woke up and had, like, a midlife crisis when I'm going <laughs> to race cars, you know. But I started dirt biking when I was seven and continued doing all types of stuff with, with engines and motors. And, and when I was living in Mexico, I was racing go-karts. Yep. All shifter cart, four cycle, you name it, raced in Canada. Uh, placed second and third in Canada, made the world team years ago. Um, then got into cars, testing different cars, TCR, touring cars, you name it, and then progressed into this prototype car, which is a serious, serious car. And, and now I, I've always wanted to race cars since I was a kid. Huh. Um, loved skating, but that was the direction my parents kind of took me. And then this was on the side, and now I get a chance to do it. I love that you share that with us, because we know about this story, like pre-skating, there was martial arts, and then there was skating, you combine the two, and now there's the racing, doing what you love. Um, I want to ask you about the tour, and yep. you're skating to the tenors. Who are their Canadian favorites? I know Mark Masri, who's the newest tenor, and you've got a good fan, friend on the tenors as well. Victor Melkaff is a buddy of mine. I met him through another friend, uh, and we we hit it off. I, I worked with his son on hockey, on skating skills and stuff, and we became friends. And uh, I called him up um, a couple months ago and said, we're doing a tour. And he says, we're doing tour as well. They're on tour at the same time. And uh, I'm looking for a great piece of Christmas music. He sent me some stuff. I picked something really, really nice, fitting for the tour. And so we're just collaborating and, and cross pollinating a little bit on social media too, which is wonderful. But yeah, I was just, we were just in uh, Nova Scotia and there, there's a guy there saying, hey, say hi to Victor. And we just, yeah, it's it's all, it's a small world in, in the entertainment industry. Elvis, how lucky do you feel to be doing two of your passions? You're still getting to skate and perform. You're getting to do it with friends, but you're also getting to race as well. I, it's, you know, all the work my parents and I put into the skating, um, you know, all the years and uh, you know, early mornings and all that stuff, it, it paid off. And, and uh, you know, alongside of my skating, I was training and doing other things so that I could step into this later on. It's something that I want to do. I, 
I couldn't sit and do a desk job. I couldn't do, <laughs> I have to be able to, I'm a competitor and it's always in me and I had to accept that. And my loving wife, she supports me in everything I do, which I'm very, very lucky. So I'm just glad that I can do this. Okay, well do us a favor. Don't get hurt racing so you can still do Star Sunrise. Right? Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks, Elvis. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Or Alvin. <laughs> Alvin Steike. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.